Hi everybody. Um, thought of another video for you. Um, kind of inspired by uh, Y Empire. His link will be below. Uh, using small shrunking tools in a chair, such as a kubaton, uh, Yoboro stick, uh, Kopo stick. Effectively the same thing. Uh, so for this, I'm going to be using the uh, Django Laboratories Paracara self defense tool. Did a review on this. If you haven't seen it, please check it out. So I have it on my finger. Like so if someone gets this close to you, Okay, uh, and you can get your weapon. Let's say it's in your pocket, and you can slip on, slip it on your finger. Ain't going nowhere right now. Boom. Okay, so they're leaning forward, and their hands are on your armrests. I've kind of explained this one before. I would go for my weapon or have it on me. Um, beforehand because if you have any type of training you can kind of sense that danger coming and go for the eye socket okay maybe come down and scrape down the bridge in the nose okay strike that strike the br bridge of the nose this this is why I recommend okay something really really hard okay and you might even break their nose it depends okay but by that time they probably let go and backed up or they might and they might come in with a punch Okay, you still have this on you, the little striking t um, stick. You don't have anything longer or anything like that, or a gun, uh, unfortunately. So, they're coming in with a, a strike. You turn that knife hand block we've gone over into striking. The inside of the arm. Okay, so strike, come up, hook that, and you can turn in, that into all sorts of arm locks and whatnot. Okay, just a food for thought. Striking tools can be used not only for striking but for trapping hooking and all sorts of things depending upon uh, you know your your skill set and I, I highly recommend that if you're gonna uh, you're working with self-defense or working on your self-defense that you work on joint locks uh, and judo uh, or jujitsu type skills along with with the strikes because chances are you will you will be grabbed and um, that way you'll have the skills so another another good example would be a, a kick okay uh, front kicks are fairly easy to counter in a chair Despite what people might think, okay, if you know what you're doing, they're coming in with a front kick. You, have, you can block it with your left hand and strike the outer thigh and then come back around and strike the rib. Okay. Just right in between the rib. Okay. I'm not gonna really do it really hard to myself, but.
button right in there okay that's another example of, of another attack I, I could go over quite a few but um, not gonna do a whole lot in this video um, so so that's an idea I got that idea from vampires last video I'm gonna leave a link uh, to his channel in the description if you haven't subbed him I highly highly recommend uh, him he's much more skilled than I am um, so food for thought especially for those who aren't um, as mobile or are chair bound so there you go Um, just to, um, thanks again to everyone who subbed and, uh, entered the contest, uh, and more stuff will be coming, and, yeah, guys, send those requests, uh, and, you know, if I can help anyone else, uh, let me know. Thank you all, and like I always say, don't do anything I wouldn't do.